Is that coming out of Kenya now and the body of the late Kakamega County Chief of Staff Robert Sumbi may not be buried anytime soon due to a dispute involving two women, both of whom claim to be his next of kin. One of the women has gone to court and filed a case that she hopes will protect the interests of her children. Charity Mwangi with the details. Outside the Kakamega funeral parlor, a family is gathered and no, they are not waiting to receive the body of their kin for burial just yet. In fact, the burial plans are not yet complete. They sit here to prevent another party from collecting the body and making alternative burial plans. <laughs> Among them is Susan Namanda, who claims to be County Chief of Staff Robert Sumbi's legal wife. Sumbi died recently of COVID-19. She says she has been keeping vigil all night and will continue to do so until the dispute is resolved. I have a court order and I have ile barrio permit. Kwa hivyo na shanga ni akina nani hawa ambao wanataka kuzika mme wangu. On the other side of the dispute is a woman who also claims to be the late Sumbi's wife and part of his family supports her claim much to Susan's annoyance. Kibibilia ni kwa sababu mimi ni Mkristo najua mimi ndio mke wake pekee. Na pia katika sheria ya Kenya mimi nina marriage certificate na mme wangu hajafanya talaka kwangu kwa hivyo mimi sijui mtu mwingine na mtu mwingine asije kati kunyakuwa yale ambayo tumefanya kwa miaka 20 ili tupate watoto wetu tupatie watoto wetu maisha mazuri they have been living peacefully it is only that the, 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 my daughter stays in Nairobi is a lecturer at KU and you know she is not transferable and this man stays around here in an effort to protect her interests, Susan Namanda has gone to court to seek access to her husband's property. Nimestaki watu wawili ambao naona kuwa ndi wana wamechukua vitu vya mme wangu. Hasa nitataja kuna identification card, yani kipande chake, kuna ATM cards zake, kuna logbook yake, kuna gari lake, kuna title deeds za shamba. For now, Susan hopes that the court will rule in her favor. Charity Mwangi, NTV. Oh, well, that report by Charity Mwangi takes us back uh, to the U.S. where Joe Biden has been projected as the president-elect, that is the 46th president of the U.S. Pictures, they are coming out of the U.S. following that projection. As I said, Pennsylvania, as I said, Pen Pen uh, Pennsylvania, sorry, <laughs> uh, tongue twister there, uh, sent him over the top uh, from 253 votes to 273. Uh, in total, they have uh, 20 votes. And uh, I hear also uh, <laughs> that uh, President Donald Trump has refused to concede defeat. There is a statement there on your screens from his campaign. And uh, I cannot read.